Wind is blowing. Good 10, 20 miles an hour right now. It's nice at home. It's sunny. That would be a little better. But here, give it a shot. Bass are sucking. Wind is strong. Not sure what the current's like or what the tide is like. I have to up my weight. Cast with the wind, which I'll try now. A little better. it up here I made my way down when my back is towards the wind so much much easier to cast now I'm limited on where I can fish over here But we'll, we'll try it. So we got a lot of rain last night. Today is New Year's, New Year's Day. And the forecast was windy, but I didn't think it was gonna be this windy. But didn't fish New Year's Eve, so, so I had to get my fill in. Have tomorrow off, so I'll probably go out again. And it was so much fun catching bass with my buddies last week. And I decided to do it again. Different body of water, but essentially fishing the same way. Essentially same species. Looking for that reaction bite. that we can all hope for. So I got a spinning rod with Carolina rig and uh, my bait casting with a Texas rig. I'm gonna switch it up back and forth. One I can fish slower than the other. And I might even switch it up to a drop shot soon with a heavy, heavy weight so I can cast it through this wind. So I did end up going to a local regional park to try to catch uh, some trout that they stocked last week right around Christmas time. And uh, yeah, caught largemouth bass. Who'd have thought? So I actually landed one and hooked another one, but quick released it. So I'm not sure how many they stocked in that little lake. 
many. It doesn't seem like they stock that many. There are a bunch of people out there, bait fishing, power bait, and whatnot. I think I only saw one person catch one. And I was there for about six hours. drop shot I think it's a 20 ounce weight I got a Z-Man craws on there we'll throw it out there and see if we can get a bite fish is slower let it drift Cast as far as I can and just blind cast in, just working it in. I have no clue where they're at. And again, limited on where I can fish because of the winds. Right here, uh, at least I can be relatively warm a little bit and have a potential catching fish so I swapped out the Z-Man Craws and threw on a uh, Yamamoto and I got snapped Yamamoto uh, curl tail grub chartreuse color we'll give that a try haven't got any bites yet hey you never know maybe miserable for us but it may be great for them underneath the water Just slow reeling it in Tail of the grub cause the action or reaction bites. So I guess there's grass out way out there. Wind's dying down a little bit. So this is my rig right here. Now motor curl tail grub. 20 ounce weight. Drop shot. Wind's dying down a little bit. So I'm able to cast a little further. A little more into the wind. Definitely you can't move yet. As you can tell the trees are still blowing. And the wind is still blowing, you can tell by the trees. You never know. They could be here. like uh, getting a little bit of rain again. I hear it dropping on my jacket. Let's see how long it lasts. I see blue through the clouds. Might be just the cloud holding a little bit too much water. It needs to be released. But I see blue through the clouds. So. Tell him, move. 
left. Once you get in a bite, way windier over here. Well, let's try it for a little bit. See if it can produce something. Definitely gustier here. Bite. Got a bite on. Let's just keep it going. There's a bite. Might be small. Slow reeling it in. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Yes, it's worthwhile. That move is worthwhile. Oh. Them. Dang it! Ah, you know what? Oh, you guys caught that? We're gonna try again. That was fun. Ooh. I lost him in the rocks. That's why. Let's fix this guy up. Still pretty dang windy out here. Get my rod tip low. So the wind doesn't take the line as much. And a little slow to reel it in. It's kind of tough to feel the bite too. I'm the only one out here. I I'm the only dumb, dumb one out here. <laughs> it's not the best of conditions. line might have been frayed and it was a pretty clean break so I'm gonna re try to put another uh, drop shot and we'll start with the double uni because my hands are cold and they can tie it fairly easy easily and it's fairly strong and it's windy so two uni knots equal a double uni knot one two three four five five turns should be plenty cinch that down the other side go five turns of the uh, fluorocarbon one two three four five five turns there I'll cinch these two together Ends off. Cut them 
clean off. Some few inches away from the bottom. That's a guessing game. Sometimes you want it shorter, sometimes you want it longer. So let's try Palomar. Maybe the tag end find it back through back through the front of the hook and voila it correctly get a snap swivel again the weight bottom so it doesn't get all twisted up as much and right, she's tired clinch down at the bottom you tie a palomar you tie whatever you want whatever's easier whatever you feel more comfortable with Do, uh, five six turns that back through the loop switch that down wait fish again. Double check, make sure I did clip that weight on. Yes. Pass that again. Some line out. Don't know if it's sinking to the bottom. I'm hoping it is. Just slow reel it in. Ooh, wind is picking up. Rain is coming down a little bit more again. It's okay. I got tug on earlier today, man. 
so I'm still out here. Like they say, the tug is the drug. It's a drug of choice for me. None of that chemical stuff. Yeah, so if you decide to come out on days like this, be as careful as you can. Take it slow, there's no rush. Coming down the rocks, one rock at a time, and I'm holding on with uh, holding on to, with run rock as I'm climbing down, taking one step, make sure I got good footing, and then take my next step. Not jumping on rocks. You don't know if it's wet, if it's slippery. I'm not moving around too much either. Maybe from one flat rock to the next flat rock. It's a spotty. Woo. It's a spotty. Thank you, Mr. Spotty. Thank you, Mr. Spotty. Yeah. Not a giant, but a fish nonetheless. There you go. Thank you, sir. Yeah, the reason why I'm fishing drop shot, it's it's easier <laughs> it's just plain easier especially with the wind blowing like that all i could do is slow crank and the whatever lure that you're using this time I'm using the uh yamamoto curly tail it will stay above the bottom x amount of inches whatever you decide to and um i'm just keeping it slow rolling it on the bottom until it hits I don't have to worry about jigging it. I don't have to worry about um, loose loose slack. I'm just slow cranking it. Man, it's getting windy. Ooh. It is blowing. Not sure how much longer. One early bite, one spotty. Is uh one o'clock. Spotty. Get out of here. Woo. Get out of here. Get out of here, buddy. He's an angry one. He's an angry one. Guess I will stay here for a little bit. Spotty pretty bass. tough to feel that bite that was on a fluke man I think I'm going to a few more casts call it a day I have tomorrow so
couple fish is better than none and for new year's day way to suck new year's not bad at all not bad at all it is winter time kind of expect it not sure why they're, they're seem to be biting today well no pressure because nobody else out here We'll call it. Maybe we'll catch another one. I'll save you from more of the wind noise since it sounds like this. Walk back to the car. Bad day for a new year. The bite was pretty darn good, and I would definitely be more willing to fish the wind in the future just to see if the bite is as good as this day. So let me know if you had success or failure in the wind. I appreciate you watching. And by the way, I went back on Monday and the bite was not as good. Uh, I just had one bite and that was it. But we had bluebird skies. So have a great week and see you on the next one.